Hello everyone. This is how we do today. Last episode we discussed about set your own house in order in terms of management improvements. And as I said, I will be coming up with a series of it on behalf of our company CIA Global Venture LLP. The second episode is on digging deep inside your own organizations and decisions or root cause study you you know you can say that these are very simple things and what i am trying to repeat but yes we are good in big ones but we miss out the basics so dig deep or go inside your organization bit more or deeper with uh, value added insights is very simple either we don't delegate or we over delegate we don't delegate some of the things keeping that it is my decision as management and those are the areas sometimes we just take casually and we don't even you know look into the aspect of impact overall when we delegate we don't bother about you know checking certain basics and we say okay what suppose its organization is project based bidding based we decide to do something which is uh, not studied by us as such we go by our perception that being a management i would be knowing everything and uh, that is where i think it impacts so dig deeper go into the basics much bit more and delegate but then do have a check and areas of decision making needs to be much more sharper just because you are a management promoter owner ceo doesn't make uh, you infallible or you won't get down with your own decisions rather uh, as an experience i can share that we take decisions which maybe are 30% times they don't uh, really reflect another 20% they are midway 50% maybe yes routine decisions mostly are right and some specifics randomly we hit so it is not that we are always invincible So when you take a decision, then there is a simple formula, you know, which uh, everyone knows very well: five W and one H. When, what, where, who, why, you know. So these are the areas which we should know better. And H is how. Means we should analyze each and every aspect of what our decision is coming in front of me, when it is required, what is to be done. where it is going to impact me who is going to execute it or who is other party who is going to get benefited out of it or who is in advantage of me and why it is to be done why it is needed to be solved or why it is you know concluded this way which i want to decide and then h basically determines you how you do it this is established formula you go into google you will find it but then use your experience this is what i am trying to tell you as a management you know everything in terms of fundamentals you are perfect but when it comes to execution we tend to forget so 5w and 1h basically brings you you know the facts what are required to be studied bring it out in terms of root cause analysis it doesn't mean that when you fail you should do root cause if some certain areas of the work you are not succeeding other areas are doing very good and those which are not doing that good we should go to root study root cause could be in multiple form for a project promoter or a company promoter it could be in terms of your own organization setup which we talked in the first uh, episode set your house in order second could be your own way of spending money the way money comes the way money goes cash in cash out your tendency to trigger the button when it is not needed your tendency to stop the finances to a particular area when it is really needed so and this happens you will find that you really do it sometimes and your own decisions backfire then you find a scapegoat to push the blame on it not good we must take our success and blame together as a owner what else is needed is to see how is your inventory is going how is your inventory moment if you are a producer of manufacturing products check your raw material versus your outgo 
of your ordered of material. If your raw material you are ordering means you are incurring cost. Whereas your production is happening with full speed, you are incurring cost. But your orders are lesser than the overall capacity means you are holding the product too long and your value chain is breaking as your customer is not ordering freely means there is some problem. Don't talk about COVID, go beyond or go earlier. There has to be a problem with your quality of product, the quality of your servicing, quality of your delivery, in case of a project, overall quality of project or deliverables, the way you do it, means you need to improve and you need to see that. Why I am not I'm getting lesser orders? Payment backlogs, another area. Orders are there but payments are not coming, but you are producing at the same speed. Why? Then you need to control because if you're supplying someone something within the agreed pattern of payments, they have to make you payment. And you have all the right to stop them for the supplies with little warnings, with amicable relations, you can sort it out. So these are the areas you must, must look into it. In a project organization, if you are bidding for a project, then bid study is done by a team and we think that is not my area. It is my team is there, they will prepare the bid. But I will finalize the rates, but on what basis? You talk to someone on telephone and then ask him certain area, these details and rates, and you feel here you are knowing everything about it. You have certain connections and you feel that you will use connections for this project once you get it and you will overcome all the problems and you decide to be competitive. It is in your native place or in your affected area where you want to really set up your project and you go emotionally very low. These are not done. You go by merit of the project. Selection of the project itself is area where you have to put in your value. Decide that. We will talk about it more in next episodes. But then you cannot just allow it to drag on the way you want to do it like earlier. You have to be very careful when you are bidding, when you are deciding selection to the finalization of uh, pricing to the client, the way client is. Is this a private client or government client? It pays you right or doesn't pay right or deputation of that client. Whatever big with the project and to create you, uh, you know, uh, assignment he is offering you. But then thing is you look into your own aspects first. Are you capable of handling that project? These are the aspects of dig deep. Then capital uh, purchases where you spend your money. CapEx is one area which is that is determining whether it is an industry or factory or a project, highway, bridges, whatever, you know. I want to buy equipment, I want to buy this. Yes, CapEx is needed. But do study your capex and try to really, really optimize it, or I would say in this period, minimize it. How much you can minimize without impacting your efficiency is your requirement, is your role, in fact. You cannot shout on others if you're not implementing anything right. So dig deep is also on your expenses, then vestiges. A lot of areas we do a lot of vestige and we don't care for it. We, we have discounted for a scrap value in our balance sheet and then we feel that everything is done. But scrap is out of your hard earned money, hard invested money, out of your equity it is going. You have to think of vestiges in highway project, in bridge project, in building project, in industry, scrap, wherever you can find value you have to be very very alert and prompt to avoid vestiges to minimum level, don't go by percentage, there are 1% high, 3% high, no. Whatever is bare minimum, you can bring it down further by that bare minimum, you know, benchmark, you create a benchmark for yourself. These are the areas and your efficiency of executing things, if you're a manufacturer, how you improve your efficiency with least impacted additional cost, how your manpower is trained. These are the areas which will give you better understanding of your own business. You don't need external people, but you need uh, your own mind inside your own business. Don't go by only Jugaad. Don't go by only joint venture partnerships. Don't go only by something to come as technology partner. No. Ultimately, it is your money going to be lost by you. So my lesson or my learning sharing with you, which I also learned hard with, is Dig deep inside your own business decisions or organization or management practices and do a detailed root analysis of impacting decisions which are going to change the shape of your organization.
this time these are the valuates next time we will meet on maybe some project specific issue or some other highly important issue for organization meanwhile you take care of your decisions optimize your cash flows retain your cash try to invest in the right areas or don't invest then use partnerships in the areas where you can hire these purchases in this your way you can reduce but reduce your cost structure improve your balance sheets your cash is going to help you which will only come by digging deep inside your organization and even if you save 5% is good enough thank you very much see you next time i am alok sapre cmd of cia local venture lp look forward to help you call us or connect with us at assistance at cia-global.com do write to us thanks thanks for hearing me